Hey, FUMC Allen family, Pastor Mary Beth here. So I'm back in our sanctuary um, because I wanted you to see what we see on Sunday mornings when we are here and on the chancel during the live stream. We look out toward the camera, but we also see all these pictures of um, family members from First UMC Allen. And I, I wanna tell you that's been a joy and delight to be able to see those, but it is also a poor substitute for actually um, seeing you in person, sitting in the pews, smiling up at us. So I'm here feeling some great anticipation for Sunday, September the 13th, because that's the day when we are inviting everyone who is ready to come back um, into the sanctuary for in-person worship at 11 o'clock on that Sunday morning. Um, now there will be some things that look and feel different than in-person worship looked six months ago. Uh, for one thing, we will be continuing to live stream because we know there are a significant number of persons in our church family who are not yet comfortable about being in person in worship and they prefer a virtual worship experience. We also have become aware that there are a pretty significant number of people outside of Collin County who are engaging with our online worship from Oak Cliff, from South Dallas, from Tennessee, from Colorado, from Missouri, from New York, and even from Africa. So um, our live stream um, is uh, recorded through four cameras. Um, uh, three of them will be mounted. Um, two of them are already mounted. One is yet to be mounted and there'll be a fourth camera that is on a tripod, but all of them will be stationary and fixed during the worship service. Um, we will have live music. Our singers uh, will be masked along with our instrumentalists until um, the singers lead the singing and then they will be behind plexiglass shields. Um, we will um, have persons and families be able to sit together, but ask other persons to physically distance and ask all persons who come to worship to wear masks throughout the entire worship service and in the common areas of the building, including the restrooms. Um, children under the age of four will be able to go to the nursery, but children over the age of four will be in the worship service with their families. We will not have children's Sunday school um, available at that hour. Um, and at the end of the worship service, uh, worshipers will be um, dismissed uh, by section. And we'll ask that people not congregate inside the building, but rather seek to greet one another out in our beautiful courtyard. So now a word about congregational singing. There's a lot of discussion um, among scientific circles about um, uh, the transmission of the virus through aerosols from people who are singing. That is why our singers will be behind shields when they are leading singing. And why we are asking that everyone uh, wear a mask throughout the entire worship service and to be cognizant and sensitive um, uh, to the persons sitting around us in the worship area. Uh, now, I, I will tell you, I'm a singer. I love to sing. I love to sing praise songs and hymns that are dear to me and, then, and that help me to express my worship. And I know that there are gonna be times when um, I just can't keep from singing. But I also know that there will be times when I'll be okay with raising my hands or swaying with the music or clapping or humming or just mouthing the words under my mask. And I hope that you'll consider those as possibilities as well. Uh, we will ask that if you're planning to come to in-person worship that you RSVP. Now, this is not so that we can have a guest list that we check at the door or to limit the number of persons who can come to worship. Uh, we know that with 50% capacity, we can have as many as 300 persons in this room for worship. Um, so we invite and encourage you to RSVP if you're planning to come. Now, if you're not ready for worship in the building, 
or you prefer an earlier worship hour, we encourage you to consider our morning watch service, uh, which takes place in the parking lot, the east parking lot at 8.30 on Sunday mornings. You stay in your car for that, and it's an opportunity to worship with others in uh, what feels a more distant and safe way. Um, and now just a, a word about our staff. Our facility has been closed to most events uh, for the past several months, but the church has never been closed. And our church staff has been working very hard um, to find new and creative and faithful ways to help um, us engage with one another, to help our, our congregation to worship, to grow in discipleship, to grow in their understanding of, of who God is and um, how we can be faithful to God. And so I am very excited about a new thing that will be happening on Sunday, September the 13th at five o'clock p.m. called Faith and Family Night. Uh, what we know is that the church has always sought to partner with parents um, to help children and youth grow in their discipleship and spiritual life. Um, and that has become even more important in the pandemic when so many of us are spending so much more time at home and with our families. And so what we know is that the church's role is to equip parents to take the lead in that way. And so what will be happening on Sunday evenings um, from 5 to 6 p.m. is that um, this will be an event for children and youth and their parents. Um, it'll be a time with a message, with prayer, with music, with games that we will seek to equip families to be the place where families grow in their spiritual life and in their discipleship. I'm so grateful because our staff has come up with this new idea that helps us to meet families where they are. I have been very impressed by our staff in these days. They are creative, they are hardworking, they are faithful, and they are a blessing. I've been praying for them and I hope you're praying for them too. I'm praying for you and I hope you're praying for me. Shalom.